All right, all right. What's up, people, man? Fresh off the press, fresh off the press, man. They are pushing for an investigation into one of the most controversial robberies in the history of the sport. This is one of the most atrocious robberies I've ever seen in the sport of boxing for the fact that this was for an undisputed title match and for fighter to go in here and put in such hard work against a distinguished champion in Josh Taylor and go in here and turn the tables. He flipped the tables on what everybody expected in his fight. In his fight. And the fact that uh, Josh Taylor was very ineffective in his fight, couldn't get anything growing, didn't land anything significant, and he was dropped and hurt in this fight himself. So in this one, you also have a comment of how heartbreaking this was to Jack Catterall. And he states, you know what hurts the most? It wasn't for me. I've done all of this for my family, my team, my town. And country, my baby girl and missus, our future. Today, I should have been waking up with all of the belts. 15 months out of the ring, they all wrote me off, fucked me in every way possible for over two years. Finally, got the fight, sacrificed everything to fight one of the top pound for pound ranked fighters, gave him a lesson. For what? Boxing, shame on you. Judges, fuck you. Dreams stolen. Shattered heart. And he's absolutely right. Nothing but truth spoken throughout that whole message that he put onto his Instagram post. Um, It's a sad situation when this happens in a sport, but it's a good thing when the sport has a commission that would try to clean this shit up. Because no one is rocking with that. And I'm a fan of Josh Taylor. Thought highly of Josh Taylor. And this is nothing really against Josh Taylor except he shouldn't be the champion. It's everything about the officials in this sport where the corruption lies throughout boxing, wherever you look at it. Whether it's in the amateur system, the Olympic system, and the professional system. Except with the professional system, you now got the money the money drivers in here being these promoters and the other cast of snake-like characters in here. Um, but to write this dude off, keep him out of the sport for so long, put him in a ring, nobody thought he had a chance, and he went in here and shocked every goddamn body. And then you look at the punch stats, I mean, none of this makes sense. Looking at it, this dude outlanded, outthrew, higher percentage of punches landed throughout the fight. A knockdown, a point taken from Josh Taylor. How can they make anything make sense in this one? I mean, Josh was very ineffective against this dude. He couldn't land nothing on this guy. So therefore, it's no way he won this fight. And I think an overturning of that decision is the only right thing to do. But that's all I got. Peace.